when they came up with a white paper promoting Libra, they are interested in getting approval from regulators around the world. But still, it's not going to be the case. Ultimately, what a government would like to see, it's an alternative that will help them to improve management of flows in a monetary system. And the only way to provide that is going to be through a native option such as digital currency, electronic payment system. It's a very interesting time for the People's Bank of China to decide to move forward with the digital currency. The People's Bank of China will have a terrific visibility on what's happening in the economy. Another thing is to have a real-time monitoring of the system's flows with electronic cash. Obviously, that will help to monitor the health of the financial system and also in the case of prices to minimize the negative consequences of this type of situations. That's a great possibility at this moment. 80% of central banks around the world are looking at these opportunities to implement a digital currency. China will depend on the buying from giants at this moment like Tencent and Alibaba and at the same time the support of commercial banks. As you know, the current financial system relies on these players in a big way. Banks rely on deposits from users to be able to make loans. Alipay and Tencent rely on merchants' fees to fund their current operations. Why would they be motivated to change their way of working to a new virtual currency? That is a big question. 